Hello everyone, new chapter of Boku no Hero Academia is the chapter 97, but powerful from home, earful from home. Given the way things are now at UA, there is nothing there that steals, instills enough confidence in me for me to be able to introduce my son to you. Mom. No matter how amazing of a hero you may be, it doesn't change a thing as long as violence are attacking you won't be able to continue to hold proper classes, nor will you be able to prevent students from suffering great injuries. Yeah, she has a really good point. Let's see how All Might will turn the tables, how he can convince her of letting the echo going to you. Let's see. I cannot allow my son to attend a school like that. I can't. Miss Midoriya, you've got it wrong, Mom. My injuries are my fault alone, and all of the teachers have warned me multiple times not to, and in spite of that, I... And this is the result of all of that. That just shows that the school cannot be trusted with their responsibility. Sit down, my boy. You can call me a helicopter parent if you want, but I'm okay with that. I don't mean to take Izuku's dream away from him. If what he really wants to become a hero, it's not as if it's not as if Yue is the only place for him to become one. There are others. Oh, there are. You never heard anything about this. All oh, Might went to school at Yue. Even here on now, I'm devoting myself to your development. All of might even went to school at UA, then if I go, I could go to, there's no doubt, it's the place to be. This is a bitter pill to swallow. Izuku, because you looked up to me, you chased it after me and to you, being able to learn at UA must have extreme significance to you. To be first to cut off from that. I'm sorry, I'll call him back over here. It's alright. What? It doesn't have to be you really. Look, Mom, I might. Look at this letter someone sent to me. Miss Midoriya, sorry for punching you in the balls. Thank you for saving me, even when you didn't know a thing about me. Please get well soon so that I can thank you in person. Cool. It's from a boy I saved back at the training camp. A boy who hated everything to do with heroes and quirks. Tell me, thank you. Yes, I know it's my fault that I've caused you so much concern, but even still, if only for a moment, in this letter, this boy, he made me his hero. And that makes it all worth it. If it's not you anymore, then it's fine, you, you are. But either way, I'm going to become a hero. Yes, Midoriya Kun. How might? What are you doing, man? You are no longer a person who will merely chase after me, simply following my footsteps. If that's the case, then I, as your teacher, I have to support you. It is my fault that I got my responsibilities mixed up. I'm truly sorry. There are steps you take. The trail you, you blaze. I believe, I believe that Izuku will be a fitting successor to my legacy. That is, I believe he will be the next symbol of peace. What? Uh, what are you saying? What do you mean? As the previous symbol of peace, this is my apologies for taking advantage of his admiration and neglecting his education. I apologize. And as a teacher at UA, this is my humble appeal. Yes, it's true that the path I walk it is one stain in the blood, but that is exactly why I will not allow him to walk the same path. I want to be by his side walking step by step with him along the way. Oh my.
Indeed, as things stand, you is clouded by security. At the moment, we are powerless to change that. However, we heroes at the UA are doing everything we can to change that. But rather than looking at how things are at the UA, I implore you look at how things will be. So please, would you allow me to give everything I can give to you, Mizuko? Oh crap, oh my. Oh, All Might is appealing. Even if it costs my life, I will protect and nurture him. And no, I can't accept that. After all, you are you are what Izuku lives for. It's not that I hate you or anything. I, all I want is for Izuku to be happy, so you must lay down your life no matter what. Please go on living while protecting your changing to the fullest extent possible. Oh, if that's something you can promise me, then I will not stand in your way. No, I promise. Oh, my. And you, Izuku, if you're going to continue on and live at the way, then you understand, right? I promise I won't make you worry anymore. Don't say it. Why wearing that kind of face? Truth be told, I don't want to let him go. But somehow Izuku, without me realizing it, has gone to the point where the heroes he admires so much is speaking this highly of him. And to you, there can't be anything that makes you any happier, can there? Yes, Izuku's mother realized that the happiness that Izuku has is way more higher than anything because the hero that he always looked up for, that, that he really loves, is talking really good of him and this is one thing that touched You've got a pretty wonderful mom, don't you? Yeah. Please go on leaving. You raised a natural born hero. It's been a while since someone talked like that to me. My master. Somehow or another, she reminds me of her. What? My mom does? Yeah, her hair style or something. Her hair? Because she's a strong person. Oh, yeah, that skeleton face guy over there gives me the creeps. Oh, how can I still call myself on oh, my looking like this and not adjusted yet? Or why did I see you at school then? And so it begins. Set that you away. And once more on this school ground, a new chance. This is very cool. Ah, it was a really good chapter. Oh, I think this week the best chapter goes to my hero Academy or Hunter Hunter. I don't know. Both of them were really good, but Book No Hero Academy was a really touching chapter because Midoriya showed how he grown on these past months. How he is now a hero because Kota with that letter showed it to his mother and All Might realized that Deku is going to be the next symbol of peace. And this touch the Deku's mother because she wants that Deku is alive, protected, but what she really wants is that he is happy. And living with All Might, having these compliments from him, this makes him really, really happy. 
and she can't go against that. She realized that and it's a really be a beautiful moment where Almighty is apologizing with the head touching the floor and this is the highest way of a Japanese people to apologize to ask for apologies. You know this. And this is very cool. Now we are all hyped for the next I for the next chapter to see what is going to happen at UA. Probably we're going to have some events at the university. The students will interact uh, between them even more now because they are going to live in the same place and probably I'm going to say that I think maybe they're going to start some relationships between them. I don't know, maybe. One hero that I think is very interesting is the invisible girl. Because, no, if you give this power to a guy, a boy, you probably go sneak in the bathrooms of the girl, but no, they give it to a girl, and I, I really want that they, they explore more this character, to see what she really wants to do, what she will do with this power. That's interesting, it's a, a other point of view on being invisible. So, what do you think about this chapter? Thank you for watching this video, see you next week, plus ultra!